Hi everyone, my name is Rob Fellows, I'm a guitar teacher with Dudley Performing Arts and today I'm going to show you how to play the shorter version of the tune, One Finger Blues. Blues music was invented by African American slaves in America during the 1870s. The chord sequence goes round in a loop, so when you get to the end it just starts again. The whole sequence lasts for 12 bars. So on finger blues is played exclusively on one string. To start with we're just going to play it on the first string. This is the one right at the bottom of the, the guitar neck, uh, the one nearest to your leg. Um, and you're going to play four notes in this whole piece. You're going to play the open string, you're going to play the third fret, you're going to play the 5th fret and you're going to play the 7th fret. Okay, so these are the notes that we've got to play. You're going to play 4 notes all on the 3rd fret. And then as soon as you've played the 4th one, you've got to play a quick open string, really, really quick, as soon as you've played that 4th note. Just like this. Just try that with me, and. There's a gap of one bar after that, and you have to do exactly the same thing again, followed by another gap of one bar. So the whole first four bars sounds like this. The next four bars start off by going up to the fifth fret. This time you're going to play four notes on the fifth fret, straight away go down to the third fret and play four of those notes and then do that quick zero again. Just try that with me. And After you've played the uh, the open string, there's a, a gap there of two bars that you need to, uh, to, to to not do anything. Next, we go to the seventh fret, and this is very similar to what we've just done. It's just on different frets. Four uh, four notes on the seventh fret, and four notes on the fifth fret, and the zero followed by two bars gap again. So just try that with me and Okay, let's try that melody all the way through. Okay, after four. One, two, three, four. Now it's time to inject a little interest into the piece. One downside so far is that we have one melody in one place. It doesn't move, it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't do anything different. So we need to change it to keep our audience listening and to keep you concentrating. By changing the string that we play on, we can change two things drastically in the way that the piece sounds. First of all, 
our first string, the note that that first string uh, is called is E. The sixth string, which is the one right at the top next to your chin, is also called an E. So we could play the same frets on the sixth string as we do on the first string. Straight away, that's going to change what we call the pitch of the note. It's a lot lower, so it sounds a lot different. Uh, also, we're going to play those notes a little bit quieter. So it changes not only the pitch of the notes, but also the volume of the notes. And that's going to make it sound a lot different. Let's just try playing the melody just once through on the sixth string. Exactly the same frets. You just need to make sure that you're reaching over for the sixth string. So let's just go from the start. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the way that this is going to work is we're going to play on the first string all the way through. Once we've got to the end, we're going to play on the, the first string again. The third time round, we're going to play on the sixth string. And then the fourth time round, we're going to go back to string one again to finish. Let's try it all the way through. Hope you enjoyed that. There's another lesson involving One Finger Blues coming up very soon in which you'll learn how to make up your own guitar solos. But for now, have fun. See you soon.